uh, we have to find out the leap year. Leap year. Okay. Leap. Right. So what we will do? Uh, we'll take the input. Take year as input from user. Okay. Then we'll find out. Find the leap year leap year or not okay so here we have two conditions either it, it will be yes or no if it's yes display the message display the message it's a leap year leap year. if not if no right display the message it's not it's not a leap year okay please enter the year again okay right or any message we can right so what the first thing we have to do we have to take the input from the user okay as a given then we have to find out it's a leap year or not okay so if it's a leap year, we can mention it's a leap year. If no, we'll display this message. It's not a leap year. Please enter the year. Okay. So clear problem statement. Any doubt question? All right. Then go to the home. We'll create a separate process for this because this is a little bigger problem statement. So I will go to the process. Right. I will mention leap. Right. Leap. And here, uh, we, we, what we have to do, we have to build the description of the process. So what we can mention, this process will find out the leap year from the user. Okay. So this is the description, small description about the process. Then go ahead where you want to save. Right. So we have created this. Your taxation right under day one process it will get saved okay select and create okay so any idea like uh, how we are finding the leap year how we are saying like this is a leap year or not so Weber will take the number divide by four mm -hmm. and and then if it is fully divisible it is a leap year else correct Correct, absolutely right. So means it's completely divisible by four, right? Or in other words, we can say mod four is equal to zero, right? When we are dividing that particular number, right? So as usual, we'll take a flow chart. Okay. So right. I have taken the flow chart, right? Now I have to uh, I will not use a, a sequence or container here, right? So I will use this input dialog. Input dialog from where we'll take the number as an input. Right? I have taken this input type. If you double click, it will go inside. Title I will mention. Please enter the year. Right? And here we'll mention as a year. Right? And then we have to create a variable. Right? What is the variable? Where? Here I will mention. Okay. And then we have to increase the variable scope also. Right. I will mention it as an integer. Sorry. We have to increase the variable. Sorry. We have to give the variable type or we have to change the variable type. I will select it as an integer. Right. Now the next thing we have to find out the given year is a leap year or not. Okay. So here also we have to take a condition or we have to take a decision right similar way right so then you people will say we can use if right we can use if also there is no question about it but i will use something else i will use as a flow decision okay flow decision right i will take the flow decision flow decision is also very similar to the if condition huh? there is no difference okay then the next thing uh, if the condition is true, what we have to do, right? 
we will not display the message, we'll log the message. Log the message. Then what is the difference between log message and dis display message, right? I will take. So if you go here, we'll mention as a log message. Take this log message. Okay. I will tell you what is the difference between display message and log. Display message will come on the screen. It will come on the front, right? So someone should be there to click on the OK button. Then it will stop and it will proceed further, right? But the log message will write into the output or it is called as a console also, okay? It will write it in, right? So what is the benefit of it? We don't require any human intervention, for example, or, or it will write into the logs. So if you want to see the logs, very well, we'll be able to verify those logs, right? So logs can be anything. It can be information purpose, it can be for error, warning, trace purpose, right? So here I will mention uh, it's a leap here. Leap. What message we want to give? We have given. And what is the log level? We will mention it as an info. So for information purpose, we are giving this log. Okay. So if it's a true, right? If it's false, we'll display the message. Okay, we'll display the message. What message we want to display? We want to display this message. It's not a leap year. Please enter the year again, right? We'll go here and double quotes this display message, right? But what is the next thing? If this condition is false, it should jump back to the step number one to enter the input again, right? It has to jump back to the step number 5.1, right? So how it will jump back? We can directly connect this message box to the input, okay? We can directly connect this message box to this input, right? This thing will not able to do with the help of if condition, right? So that's the reason I want to show the difference between if and the flow decision, okay? At the end, both are doing the same thing, but here we have the liberty uh, if you want to connect uh, one node to the another one, okay? So it will go here. Now the main thing is condition, okay? The main thing is condition. We have to give the condition, okay? Where we have to give the condition? We have to give the condition here into the flow decision. Just click on the flow decision, okay? What is our variable name? Variable, right? Click on the condition, sorry, click on the flow decision, go to the properties. If I go to the properties, can you see our condition, right? Then just click here, open advanced editor, right? Just click on this arrow. I just click, right? So now we have to find out it's a leap year or not, right? So if you're aware, we can write expression here, but if not, not, then we can describe your problem in natural language, okay? And it will create a expression for it. Okay, so I want to mention, find out the variable uh, where year, find out is leap year, leap year or not. Okay, this one and click on this button. Okay, so I can just click on the next, right? So you can see it has created this condition, okay, by its own. So what we did, we have given our, our problem statement here, right? And based on that, it has created a uh, expression, okay? And we have to give the variable name as well so that it will take that variable name properly, right? See, it has taken this variable name properly. Click on the same, okay? Suppose now we are done and we can run this okay. so suppose i will give 2001 right 2001 so what it should display it should display it's a not leap year please try year once again right where it will go now it will jump back to the input dialog okay Right? Now I'm getting this input dialog again. And now, for example, I will give 2004, right? What is mentioned? It's a leap, right? 
so if you are not uh, aware about this expression how we have to give right very simple we can just write our problem statement we can describe here in a proper way it will create the expression as well. okay clear so in this way as as we talk during our in starting of initial session right like it has all ai ml capabilities along with it right so that can be used during the our automation so this is one of i i, I can say okay clear any doubt any question no okay. so please go ahead and try it. 